going on y'all? Welcome back to another video. If you missed my last one, I got a shop. As you can see, I got a shop so I can start getting to work on renovating and fixing up the camper so I could get things dialed and we could get back out there on the road and go on some more adventures. Now, originally the plan was to not do a full on renovation. I was just gonna update the electrical system and make a few small changes here and there but something has come up and plans have changed, unfortunately. Um, I've discovered a couple things inside the camper that just lead me to believe that it does need a little bit more work than I was originally imagining. Um, I'll show you guys in just a moment here. I do wanna point out that the lighting in here, the lighting in here also isn't that great. You saw me put up some makeshift lights, so I'm gonna try to make it work like that for the meantime, but until I get things dialed, please bear with me. Real quick, if you're new here, this is my 1995 Bigfoot C611 fiberglass truck camper. This specific model was the only one that they made for half ton trucks and smaller, and it was only in production for two years. So it's very hard to find these nowadays and they're very highly sought after. Now, since these campers are so rare and hard to find, when the opportunity came up to buy one, I jumped on it. I literally canceled all of my plans that I had that week and I drove up to British Columbia to get it. And I even had to take like two ferries across the water to get to the seller's house. It was a whole ordeal, but honestly it was so worth it and it was part of the adventure. And now I have this sweet little camper. Up until now, I've been using it with the original interior and it's worked. It's worked so far, it's been pretty cozy, it's been nice, but in all honesty, it needs some work. So although the camper has worked out for the last couple months, over the course of those months, there have been a few things that I've noticed that I don't really like. First of all, the actual layout itself, although it does look pretty nice when, at first glance, um, in actual use, I discovered that it's just not ideal and it's not really conducive for what I wanna be doing with the camper. And then aside from the layout, there have also just been a couple things that I've noticed that could indicate some undesirable conditions underneath the surfaces. I'll show you those in just a moment here. Now, the first thing I'd like to point out is this annoying piece right here that sticks out off of the couch and gets in the way of everything. It takes up space, it makes the camper just feel more cramped and crowded. And oftentimes I film myself cooking here in the kitchen and I try to set up the tripod in the walkway to get shots of the food. And this piece right here just gets in the way every single time. The next thing that I don't really like is all of the different cabinets and drawers. And there's so many different fixtures in here. And you might think that that's a good thing but I honestly don't really like it that much. And let me just explain why. You might be thinking to yourself, what are you talking about? The more storage, the more cabinets, the more drawers, the better. That's, that just means more room for stuff. And typically I would agree, having more storage is nice, but the amount of storage in here is kind of excessive. First of all, I don't use like at least 50% of the storage in here, 50% of the storage goes unused. On camera, this camper might look quite spacious on the inside, which it is, it's pretty spacious for what it is. But at the same time, this is not a camper that's on the back of like a full ton 3,500 truck. So the fact that there's so much of my space being used for storage that doesn't even get utilized, it's just not, it's, it's not efficient. It's a nice thought and some people might actually benefit from all of the storage, but me personally, I don't have that much stuff. I don't use the storage. It's just wasted space. And uh, I'd rather just have more space to move around than I need space to store stuff. So now that I've explained what I don't like about the actual layout of the camper, let me quickly show you some of the details that lead me to believe that the camper is in need of some work. First of all, and I noticed this right from the get-go, is all of the mold that's on the face of the cabinets up here. And there's also some mold in here, I don't know if you could tell in this lighting, but there's mold all along the corner in there um, and various other spots on the face of the cabinets, at least on this side of the camper. Not only is there mold on the exterior, but when you open up the actual cabinet and look at the, the bottom of the cabinet, this piece is peeling. There's clearly mold underneath the top layer. 
that corner back here clearly has some water damage. This entire cabinet, this entire cabinet just has different spots that indicate that there's a lot of moisture getting trapped in here one way or another. A lot of the wood is just kind of rotted out and it's no good. This is definitely the worst of the damage that I found. As you can see, this entire floor is just moist. The wood is just coming apart with water damage. It is really bad. The drawer slide, the drawer slide is all rusted and old and all of this is just rotted out and it's just in terrible shape. I don't know exactly what is leaking around here. I'm guessing it's this, which is the sink runoff. Um, the water fill up station is somewhere around this general area as well. So that could be another potential source of leaking. But overall, you could just see this entire area is in need of a complete rebuild. Under here, as you can see, same thing. This entire cabinet is just water damaged. This is, you can literally see, like you could see water seeping out of it. This is the insulation, water damage in here. I don't know exactly how it got to be in such bad condition over here, but it is what it is. I'm, my guess is this door here is probably leaking a ton of water. That's why this specific section right under the door is so bad. And then again, all of the wood under there is just, it's gotta go. That's, that's not looking good. There's a couple spots where the vinyl flooring ripped and you could see the exposed subfloor. And you can't really tell here, but it's moist to the touch. It's very, very wet. And that just leads me to believe that the subfloor is soaked. Here's another spot. And it's literally, look, you can see the water coming out of it. I don't know how it got so waterlogged. Now that's especially worrisome because that means that chances are the entire subfloor is just soaked and there's just literally water just like pooling out of it, which means that the entire subfloor is more than likely gonna have to come out. When you open that door here, it's revealed just how bad shape some of this camper is in. You see water damage all throughout here. This was the face of that section there and it literally just kind of like fell off because it was just so damaged with water like look at that you could see all kinds of water damage this isn't really that structurally sound um it's just it's just an absolute mess in here now that i've showed you guys exactly what i'm working with as far as the damages and the condition of the camper and i explained a little bit why i don't necessarily like the layout it should make more sense when I tell you that I've decided that I'm just gonna tear everything out and start from scratch. Yep, I'm gonna be doing a full-on renovation and it definitely is more work than I was originally planning to put into this camper, but sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Without further ado, let's get into the demolition. The first step, we're just gonna take everything out of the camper. You know, while I've got these out, I might as well put on my cozy slippers to keep my feet comfortable and warm. A lot of you have actually been asking about these lately, and these are the Insulated Summit Slipper Boots by Grays. I got them on Huckberry.com, who I'm actually now a partner with. So if you're interested, you could click on the link in the description box. Supporting my sponsors helps to support me and my channel. And not only that, but these are awesome slippers. Everything is officially out of the camper, minus the mattress, which I'll get to later. But that means now it's time for the fun part and the slightly scary part, taking everything down. they're all stripped everything in this camper I don't even know why I'm bothering trying to unscrew the screws at this point I would say at least 85% of all the screws that I tried to unscrew are just stripping out the wood because they're that old might as well just yank everything out <laughs> Yikes. 
guys. It's uh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit sad seeing my beloved camper in this state, but at the same time, it's also very satisfying ripping out and tearing out all this old rotted material and knowing that I'm going to be rebuilding it and putting fresh new material in its place. And that being said, today I got a pretty good start on the demolition, but I did also have a pretty late start in the day. So I'm going to start cleaning now and then I'll be back tomorrow to hopefully finish up with the demolition. <laughs> Okay, at least that looks a little better and I'm not leaving the camper in a complete state of disarray. All right guys, day two of the demolition and it's not off to the greatest start. I got caught up doing some really annoying stuff with my truck for like hours and that really set me back. I was hoping to get a lot done today, but nonetheless, I'm gonna get started right now and see if we could get the majority of this stuff all yanked out. So what I'm trying to do today is I'm starting off with all of the appliances and once I get all of the appliances taken out, then I could really just go to town and start demolishing things in here. What is it holding on to? Ooh, ooh. It's hanging on to something. Don't exactly know what. It's hanging on to the back? It might be attached where the vent is. Oh, there we go. Maybe that, maybe not. Just gotta use some good old yanking. Let's see, I don't wanna cut my, I already cut my hands like twice in the last two days. So gloves when doing anything. Oh, there we go. What are you hanging on to? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Heater is out. Beautiful. Check out how bad that looks, guys. This right here, it's all rusted and rotting out. And this is actually the mounting point where the camper gets tied down to the truck. Let me show you on the outside. So here's the side of the camper and this is that tie down point that you see on the inside all rotted out. It's also really rusty on the exterior as well. So that's, that's quite sketchy. I'm probably gonna just replace all four of those. Yeah, my goodness, that looks, that looks just like it's in horrible condition and I would not wanna drive down the road knowing that all four of the mounts are probably looking similar to that. That right there, guys, that's ultimately why I decided to just tear everything down and build from scratch because the things that I did see were very, they set the alarm bells off that there's probably a lot of other areas on the camper that are just in really bad shape. And good thing I decided that because that thing looks like it could just fall apart at any given moment. <laughs> Tell you what guys, he thought we were committed yesterday. Now, <laughs> now we're fully committed. <laughs> there goes every last shred of civility. Now it's on. cleaning if I'm still in the process of demolishing well it's for my sanity plain and simple for my sanity <laughs> Ooh, 
Much better. That'll do it for today. I'll be back tomorrow. Well, well, well. It's been a few days since I last filmed anything with the camper and I went through a little bit of another wreck in the old truck. My ball joint failed while I was driving and these older generation Tundras have a design flaw where basically if the ball joint fails, which a lot of the time they do, the entire front end of the vehicle collapses and hits the ground. So it's pretty terrifying, especially when you're driving and it happens, which it happened to me. Fortunately, I was not going highway speeds. Otherwise, I don't, I don't know how gnarly that would have been, but my truck is pretty messed up, my old one, and I've been trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with it. And it also prompted me to just do the ball joints on the new truck, just as a preventative like safety measure. Today I've been working on that. Just about finished up here. Once I get the truck all completed, I'm gonna lower it back down and get to work on demolishing the rest of the camper. I also just wanna point out how fortunate I am that I wasn't carrying this beast when it happened. If I was carrying this thing and the ball joints gave out. Whew. All right. Back to the demolition. Punched me in the face. Check this out, guys. Look at that. The subfloor is literally seeping water. That's just all wet, nasty, rotten subfloor. Look at this. That's not looking good. You can see over here, it's just like wet soil. It's just, it's literally just disintegrating. Now that's certainly not ideal. I guess this kind of seems to be the worst of it, but the whole subfloor is wet. So I'm gonna have to replace that. Quite the mess in here. Quite the mess. I've got pretty much everything torn apart, as you can see, and uh, feels good. Feels good, even though, even though it's a complete disaster right now. It feels good knowing that I'm getting all of this old crap out of here. I mean, everything. Like, there's so many spots on the walls that were hidden. And there's just so many spots everywhere in general that were hidden and in plain sight that are just like rotting away, water damage, dirty, old, just like disgusting. So it feels good knowing I'm getting rid of all of that and starting fresh with some nice new material. That being said, I think that I have way too much footage for one video. So I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna end the video here. You guys saw I pretty much got everything torn out. And in the next video, I think that I'll have it completely cleaned up and ready to go and ready to start building and making some changes. Look how spacious it is in here now that everything's gone. It's just wide open spaces. Thank you guys like always for watching. You guys go out there and go on some adventures of your own. Live life, beat the status quo, yawn on the drill. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you very soon in the next one.